And every now and then you're like, huh? Rage. Yo, I, I I didn't think that happened in real life, and when I actually like I saw somebody like tilted, tilted, I'm just like, yeah. bro, what? Somebody like smashed like the <laughs> fist on the keyboard. That's once. hype. That's and, like hype. a keycap was like set flag, like they're pissed. That's that's actually really hype. Like you know what's crazy? I feel like it's very satisfying to like smash a keyboard rather than like a controller because yeah. I feel like when you're punching a keyboard it's like it's like teeth falling out you know it's like you're punching and it's like mm. the more keys fall out it's like the better you feel about yourself you know yeah I wish I wish controllers you could like pop out the buttons and you know, yeah, like, slam yeah. it it'd be a little bit cooler but we got Mono we got Silvio coming up against each other I think this is going to be a little bit interesting um, I feel like the biggest like struggle for Hugo's is just going to be like how do you like keep up with months like I, I mean, I guess like Monk is like a little bit floaty, kind of up in your face, and Mono's follow-ups are so deadly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and and on the flip side, I feel like Hero is probably one of the better projectile characters in the game, because people usually view Hero. Yes, he has a sword, but it's like most of his game plan is based around the spells, right? Yep. So it's definitely going to be a minefield for Mono to get through in this matchup. And Mono like really knows how to threaten you in that space where you don't really have the time to pull menu. He's not like constantly up in your face, so jab's not really going to be an issue quite yet. His ledge trapping is looking so good right now, just dipping out there, forcing a low recovery, backs off and finds a tip of left tilt, but not going to kill quite yet. Yeah, like you were saying, like, you know, Mono's uh, spacing is on point, and it's going to be tough for Silvio to kind of break that space. Like, he had, he had Accelerado, but for the most part, I feel like when he's at the light, it's going to be a struggle for him to get off consistently. Mm -hmm. Oh, going to be looking for that F tilt, does not find it, and that was the opening for Mono to get back mm -hmm. onto the stage, and hunts out there, finds the back kill, and closes out the kill. So. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, right? Like, you know, Silvio had to recover aggressively in the situation, because, like, if he, if he air dies and he doesn't get zoomed, like, he's kind of mm -hmm. like a sitting duck, right? So. It's up on Mono. Put the pressure on. Yeah, Mono is like jumping out there and like watching you. Like, oh, you have no air dodge now. Oh, you have no double jump now. Now I have a better understanding of how you're gonna get back onto the stage. And uh, Sylvia just needs to be able to find different ways to pull out Zoom a little bit quickly. But right now, controlling the stage, playing really, really confidently, just takes the time to get some more buffs on deck. But yeah, and wow. and and he takes that sock. But like Mono, when he's juggling Silvio, he knows that Silvio is landing aggressively, right? So he's just automatically just swinging in the air, and he doesn't even care. I like the idea for Mono. He had, you know, everything on point. Just he just needed to like do like a shadowy step up smash or mm -hmm. something a little bit too much to the side. Uh, but either way, next like tip of something <laughs> should kill. Yeah, and like you know, this is just the tale of like Silvio just struggling to land. And Accelerado helping him a little bit, right? But um, yeah, this is just the endurance test for him. Mm -hmm. Mono's really hunting through some of these F-tilts, maybe fishing a little bit too much. Silvio has been just using those whiffs as an opening to be able to get in here and there. I, I feel like Silvio is playing second beat right now, especially when it comes to getting off of the corner against Mono, which is such a dangerous game because you move. A, if you miss space just once, you find yourself in the tip, right? So you, you want to be constantly like just outside of that space. Yeah, but you know, you, you, oh, okay. I was just about to say we're seeing Silvio inch his way into the into neutral, but um, Mono with another space forward tilt. But I, I feel like Silvio so, so is looking like he's getting a little bit of a foothold on how to approach with the projectiles right now, punishing Mono a little bit for swinging in the mid range. But uh, yeah, right now it's just he needs to find that hit, take the stock before like, you know it gets too hairy. I like that bit of a wait and reset for Mono, just recognizing, hey, I don't have another follow up. I'm gonna wait for you to mash, and that no way, no shot. Treated. Hello? Could you <laughs> could you shield him? Could you because I know like on waking up, you can cancel the animation into a shield. Could yeah. Mono have shielded? Is my question. I don't think so. It looked like he was definitely just smoked, right? Like it looked like he might have tried to shield. He didn't press a button. We'll take a look. Oh, we'll, we'll take a look. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go back. We'll, we'll see what happens. Go on, spec. Enhance. Um. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, Mono trying to take that suck early, and you know what? Okay, yeah, Mono go off. And yeah, that is Ooh. just... Yeah? Yeah, man, Mono's just not letting him off the ledge, man. Not at all. Yeah. That's what he excels most. That's every single time that I fought Mono, I'm like, damn, this is fine. And then I get hit off stage and I'm like, what do I do? And you're just like, wow, I actually, I actually just lost one interaction and now this is like my stop. He and pushes you out, he spaces you out, he keeps you out, and then he, you know, he spaces his tip so well. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. And, oh. and, and, and you know what? And Silvio has been getting punished a lot for doing either mash, like mash out of um, hit stun, or nothing out of hit stun. And I feel like he's not being overly defensive, right? And Mono's kind of taking advantage of that. And another thing is, it's just like he's trying to swing against Mono, and for some, and I feel like he should be playing a little bit more projectile based at this point. I'm talking about like really sit back there, 
and gather his projectiles just to regather himself because I feel like him trying to scrap and box with Marth is not working out with him. I'm trying to figure out like what it is, but I, I feel like a lot of it just boils down to uh, Sylvia does not push his ledge traps as much as Mono is. Oh, 100%. And when when like when Sylvia was ledge trapping, for instance, right, we saw him like pull out menu. He went for like um, you know one of his buffs, mm -hmm. and then Mono took that as an opportunity to be able to get back on. So at, at like a really high percent, so, like we're talking 160. So maybe opting for you know going for some more aggressive options would be optimal there. But either way, they're gonna be going to battlefield. I know Mono loves this thing. Oh yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's, a, it's like sword you have, right? Especially for a character like Mono. And this is, the, you know, and I understand the comfort pick, but sometimes these comfort picks can be double-edged swords, right? And, and and you could see, like, you know, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be hard for Sylvia to land in, under these conditions. Mm -hmm. Mono, like F tilt, like automatically, like tip through spaces as well. F smash, up tilt as well. So Sylvia has a lot of kill options that he needs to be constantly, just like cognizant of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, and still, he's still trying to like space. He's, tr he's trying to space his sword against his sword, and it's not gonna work, man. You're not gonna win that battle. But I really like from Sylvia. You, you're not seeing him like try to jump to the platforms a lot, which is so important. That's the last position that you want to be up against. Marth. He's constantly just keeping himself grounded, and at that point, the only thing you really have to worry about is like a grounded F tilt that's at max space. Mm. Yeah, let's see what he's gonna do. Got a zoom. Yeah, like Mono being really patient. Silvio, once again, trying to do that aggressive option. Um, but got to the ledge, which is good. Sorry, set the situation. So surprised that the jab actually ended up with him. I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure what, what Mono has to be able to just get under it. Yeah, I have no idea. I want to see that back. Huh. Yeah, yeah and, I, and, and, I'm liking these and I'm liking these fireball charges. And yeah, and you know, jumping in the air and getting punished for it. Now I was just gonna compliment him on this on the fireballs that he was throwing out just to keep Mono at bay. And once he you know once he stopped doing that, Mono just ran up and he, like he knows he's gonna th gonna run away from him and punish him for it. Mm -hmm. Catching him on the in with the down throw fail, but honestly with the battle, he might have enough speed and finds the up into the fail. Honestly, Mono's out of options. If he yeah. didn't air dodge, he got hit. If he air dodged, you know, then he got he didn't get hit, but then Silvio can just track him down and hit him with another up beat. So th th you, there's nothing you can do in that position. Yeah, that's one of the situations where, you know, Hero as a character can really ex um, excel when edge guarding with his upbeat like that, right? It, it could create like a lot of frame mm -hmm. trap situations. The mom is just keeping center stage, not trying to even commit to a guest, just saying like, hey, you know what, you got it, you can come back onto the stage. And those typical F-tilts are so scary. Once again, Silvio forms into up being back onto the stage, but Mono mm -hmm. just like maybe missed timing his runoff, so uh, yeah. not able to occupy that space. Yeah, and, th and, this, and this is looking a bit better for Silvio, right? Um, I, I feel like one thing he's been doing a good job, job at is picking his forward tilts a lot better, right? Um, and, pick, and also picking his spots a lot better. As I say that, he gets uh, start taken by the, the, by the Nair. But um, he's in a lot of better position than he was in game one, though. And again, like, there it is, Mono making it back on. Like, when he rolled right into Sylvia, mm -hmm. charging neutral B. Like, that should be, like, the big opening. That should be, hey, I'm releasing neutral B. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to cancel this with a shield and then try to get try to grab you for this, right? You need to do, like, something. And, and Mono just keeps getting back on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and I feel like, you know, some of those things are, like, He's not sure if he wants to really commit to the projectile options or he wants to really commit to the mid-range um, sword options. And he's kind of like paying for it by not just you know, making up his mind of what he, what he wants to do. Oh, and there, there's that forward tilt you were talking about. Perfectly spaced on that on that platform to get a, a tipper. Dashing back and forth, trying to find a nail, but finds an F tilt eventually. And you know what, this time around tries to go for the gas. That's a good idea. But doesn't find a hit. Right. I've never seen Marth tipper this much in my that was three tippers in a row. I don't think I've ever s I don't think I've I've seen Roy's get like three three uh, uh, uh inside hitboxes in a row. Like that was That was like also comical timing too. Very comical? Okay. Yeah, you said you said I've never seen uh Marth get so many tippers and yeah. then found tipper back like here. Back here, like Bop. yo. That was three in a row. God bless. Can, can we talk about that for a second? Like, his spacing ha has been on point pretty much like this whole set. But, um, good stuff by Mono, though. Yeah, his, his, his pivot cancel f tilts are always, like, so on point. And he's, like, grounded and waiting for you to jump, for you to be pressing all those buttons. He mm -hmm. wants one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wants to uh, take your stock at all costs. Um, but yeah, no, but Mono's also, like, a lab monster. He's, he's, he's definitely a lab monster. He labs, like, all these, like, weird spacing things. I know that. Let's go! Who was that? Hey, I don't know. Hey, um, look, guys, this is oh, thirty-three dollars and ten cents. Where'd that come from? 
Maturina. Yo, let's go, guys. Maturina, we did it. Maturina. We did it. We did just it. Type it in. Type <laughs> it in the chat. Free money. Yeah, free, free money. Mo free money. Speaking of free money, Xenosaga. Uh, what do you mean by that? Thirty-five. What do you mean by that? How's that free money? It's, me. it's free money if you're nice like me, you know. If you're nice, okay. If you're nice. Like, if you have to be I'll like see. You. I'll see you at Fuzzy's. Yeah. Yeah. Not at all. Not oh at my all. God! You know what I realized? I actually get my DLC that day. Your DLC? Yeah, my DLC. Get my booster. I'm, I'm a little. I'm a little lost. I don't try. Get my booster that day. Oh. Sh <laughs> 